from the beginning, I said it. I absolutely love the change on them. Finally, Harley Davidson, we have riding modes on the touring models. The bike is not gonna be anywhere from 30 to 35 pounds lighter. It is now the biggest screen that's on any touring motorcycle out there. It most likely it was not gonna have a mono shock. Before we even start this video, we just reached 30,000 subscribers on the channel. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that bell button. That's gonna notify you anytime I upload any type of new content. Let's get into it. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So Harley Davidson has launched their brand new 2023 Harley Davidson CVOs today. We got to see the launch just a few minutes ago. The bikes look amazing. Um, I have done previous videos on this topic already with uh, the little clip that they uh, came out with a few weeks back on them. And wow, 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 wow. Just even learning a little bit more about all the details on the bikes has me more intrigued now. So A, from the beginning, I said it. I absolutely love the change on them. Um, you know, it, it's, it's, it's time, man. Like... Especially for the street glide, the street glide just looks a little dated, in my opinion. So I'm really happy they changed that up a bit. Road glide still to me, just the road glide just looks amazing it, as it sits right there right now. But the new one looks great, man. And obviously, some people like it, some people don't. A lot of people hate the most obvious thing, which is the light in the front. I think it's different, I think it's cool, I think it's very innovating. But let's just dive into everything we now know about the new CVO and then we'll discuss a few things afterwards. So both Road Glide and Street Glide are gonna have that new Milwaukee 8 with a 121 engine that comes equipped with VVT which is variable valve timing. Now this is gonna help you a lot with cooling of the engine which they pointed out as well as fuel economy. So it's a win-win situation right there. Now they're obviously focusing a lot more on performance. These bikes are not gonna have 115 horsepower and 139 foot-pounds of torque. Now that's a nice little jump from the last models. Now also talking about performance we're gonna have an inverted front end which is a plus better stability, better handling. And then for the rear suspension, I mean, I, I, and I was pretty right about this because in the last video, I said that it most likely it was not gonna have a mono shock. A lot of people out there are saying, yeah, like it's gonna have a mono shock, but to me it just didn't make sense for the bike to have a mono shock if the frame wasn't gonna be redone. Um, it just, I don't know, that, that just doesn't make sense to me. So you're gonna have your premium standard rear suspension, which it is adjustable, but not a mono shock. They did mention that it was a little taller though, so I, I wanna see that and I wanna feel it. I wanna see the big difference when it comes to the suspension compared to the older models. Um, so hopefully I'm keeping my fingers crossed that the inverter front end and then this taller shock in the back is gonna make the bike a lot better feel a lot smoother as well. Now you're also gonna have the dual floating rotors, 32 millimeter, four piston fixed front and rear brake calipers as well. And then as we're also on the subject of performance, um, another good thing, so the bike is not gonna be anywhere from 30 to 35 pounds lighter. They were able to cut back on some of the weight on the bike, so 30 to 35 pounds is a lot. I mean, you're gonna say, oh, is that a crazy difference? But for, you know, for like, the track or something if anybody's gonna track this bike uh, but 30 to 35 pounds is is an improvement guys now these bikes are really really heavy as is already so 30 to 35 pounds is an improvement i wish they had cut the weight by a lot more but i just you know it it, it it is what it is one important thing they also pointed out in the video was just the air deflection um they the, the way the these fairings were designed um is more so to get the air going all around you so you're gonna have a lot less buffeting on your helmet a lot less buffeting on your body as well so the way they designed it was more for the air just to literally hit the bike and just go around you, not on you. They also mentioned that it was gonna help out with fuel economy and then also keeping the bikes cooler. Now let's talk about that 12.3 inch screen 
that we saw in the video. I mean, wow. It is now the biggest screen that's on any touring motorcycle out there. Um, the screen looks amazing. I know a lot of us like the, the analogs. We like looking the analogs. We like the classic look of it. But this screen looks amazing. The fact that everything is right in front of you. Everything is digital now. Um, it's great and it's and it's not small happy they went with a really big screen um, I, I want to see how how it looks in person as well when it comes to the coloring as far as using it and touching it They did mention that even with a heavy glove or under any rain or snow Whatever you're able to touch that and the screen is gonna work very very well under any of those circumstances now talking about that Let's talk about the three riding modes which we're gonna have which is I've been this is something that if you guys have been watching my content for a few years already well the last two years or so um i had mentioned a few well quite a, a lot a lot of times that these bikes should be coming with riding modes and finally 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 harley davidson we have riding modes on the touring models which is which is awesome so the three riding modes we're gonna have are gonna be cruise touring and sport so i cannot wait to get on these bikes and try out all the different modes, see exactly how they feel, how they differ from each other. And then I saw in the video that you were able to add like a, like a di different modes, so you're also able to customize your modes as well. So we went over the 121 on the M8. Oh, one thing they mentioned in the M8 was that everything was redesigned. It is a Milwaukee 8, but the cylinders were redesigned, the heads were redesigned. Everything's just redesigned for this 121, so that's a plus right there so we went over the 121 uh variable valve timing which is going to help with cooling of the bike it's going to help with more performance and it's also going to help with fuel economy which is a plus inverted front and taller rear shock no it does not have a mono shock we went over the screen we went over the riding modes um the chop bags in the back let's talk about that real quick i'm a really really big fan of the chop bags i said it before i said it once before I, I have stretch bags on my bike and I just I've, I just I don't like them anymore. I, I really don't. Um, I, I want to do a 201 on my bike um, and I just want to change the whole look of the bike in the back. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I'm going to be able to take those bags, put them on this bike. Cause that that that'll be pretty cool get them color match to this bike and i could finally do a 21 and it won't look crazy and ugly with just that one gaping hole in the back so that's pretty cool so hopefully i mean it should it should fit it on this bike so keep my fingers crossed towards that um the redesigned seat on it looks really 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 cool as well and now for color options i thought that they would kind of give us a few more Color options for the CVOs, um, very limited this year with two colors. So you're gonna have that that silver color, which is really, really cool. And you're gonna have the orange and black, which is also really cool, but that's gonna cost you an additional $6,000 just for that paint job, which is pretty pricey to me. I don't know, but I mean, yeah, $6,000. I mean, the bike is already starting at $42,000, um, a little more than the price point on the previous years, but not too much. You're getting a basic, a brand new redesigned bike, bigger engine, better suspension, new digital screen. So it's, it's the little difference from last year's price to this year's price. Is it worth it? I, I think it's worth it for all, for everything that you're getting. Now, Street Glide or Road Glide, what do you prefer? What do you like? What are you not liking about it? Now, I know a lot of you guys are not liking the lights on the Road Glide. I really do. I think it looks pretty cool. Um, I really like the LED strips on the Street Glide fairing. I think that looks awesome. Really important, going back to the light, that they, they really emphasize the fact that they really wanted to focus on lights in order to you know, ha have the rider enjoy his ride going into the night and being able to view everything in front of them. So, I mean, that's the reason why I guess they emphasize so much in the lights, but I think they, they look good. I like the fact that they integrated the, 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 the lights in the street light fairing. I think that's really innovating. It looks really cool. Um, and yeah, just, I can't wait. One, oh, you know what? One thing that kind of pointed at that kind of stood out to me was the rope ladder, right? So when it comes down to the bars, you're gonna have that bottom uh, clamp right there. So it's easier access now to change those bars out. I mean, we hate those beach bars, the stock beach bars. Um, so, I mean, I like the fact that it kind of just comes with that clamp and you're able to take that clamp now off and if you want to add in your triple tree or add another type of bar setup that you want, 
very easy to to do now um and and it looks good the way it is from stock as well um so that 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 kind of pointed out to me one of the bags wheels look great um 21 inch wheels in the front um they they look really 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 cool um and that's pretty much it i think that we pretty much covered everything this is everything you need to know about the new cvos now please Drop your thoughts and your comments down below. Do you like the street glide better? Do you like the road glide better? What do you like about the new redesigned bikes? Is there anything that you wish they could have done differently? Or is it is it perfect? Anyways, I'm gonna have a few more videos lined up this week talking about this subject right here. Some pretty cool stuff, so tune in. And I will catch you on the next one. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby. Peace.